Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week I'm gonna show you how to put together this really cute little project. So I've got a little picture and it's got flowers cascading down. Uh, just a fun uh, composition, it's super easy to do. I'm gonna show you what I used in it, but uh, honestly you can use anything you have. So obviously any flowers or foliages that you have, uh, you can use in this composition. So keep that in mind as we're going through all of this. Um, um, this is a really fun one because uh, this always reminds me of, um, you know, blessings being poured out or love being poured out. So it's a really good uh, composition for uh, that person that maybe is a real blessing to you in your life or maybe you just want to send um, a note of love or something like that. So this is a really good one uh, to have for something like that. Okay, so let's get going on it. I'm going to show you how to put this together. So we're going to need a few things. <clears throat> We're gonna use the one of the pictures from the decorative jar set. So I'm gonna use this one right here, but of course all of these will work. So you could try this composition with other containers that you have too. So I'm using this one. Um, we're also going to need uh, some flowers and foliages. So I'm gonna use the little filler flower here. This is in so many different sets. I know you see me use that all the time, but it's so versatile. Uh, we're also gonna use this foliage. This is from foliage set four. And then uh, in this flower set, flower set two, we're gonna use this long stem right here. And then several things from flower set three. So I'm using these two, this one, I think this one, as much as I have room for. So <clears throat> this is one of those compositions that every time you do it, it's gonna be a little bit different. And you can also stretch it out to fit your card. So maybe you have a shorter card and you just want a few little things cascading down. So you can also do it that way. So just more fun ideas. So let's get going. We are going to start out by stamping that image on our watercolor paper. So I am going to turn my paper this way. So this is portrait, so up and down so that I have lots of room to stamp my picture and get my flowers in here. So let's start with that. This is the basic image. So we're gonna start out with that picture and we're gonna ink this in two colors. So uh, this is metal. So we're gonna start out with the brown. This is the dark brown and we're gonna ink this first. And when your stamping things are in metal, we're gonna use two colors, the brown first, and then we're gonna go back over the whole thing with the dark blue. So this is a dark blue, number 565, and we're just gonna ink this over the top. And in my little composition, I'm using a light color, so I'm coloring the pot with a yellow and some red, so I don't want this too dark. I don't want too dark of a line here, so I'm gonna stamp it off so that I get a lot of this dark color off. And then I've actually position this on my block crooked so that it's easier for me to stamp. So I've turned it exactly the way that I want it to be on my paper. I think that's easier than trying to turn the block and position the block. So I'm gonna stamp this at the top and straight up and down, so just like that. And you can see that the lines are a little bit lighter and that's because we're using that light color so we don't want too much of that color to come out. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip my brush in water and I've already spilled it here, so let me just clean this off. There we go. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water and I'm gonna pinch it off. And I'm gonna start out by pulling the color out of the line. So if you look at this little pot, and because it's turned, um, it's gonna have a highlight on the top. So remember that whenever you're doing uh, something like this, you wanna see the highlight on the top where that light reflects down. So we wanna see the highlight up here, but we also wanna see the highlight here because this pot is contoured. So always keep that in mind when you're, when you're stamping something that's rounded and you're pulling that color out of the lines, make sure that you always show that, um, that highlight in the center. It's really, really important. Otherwise you lose the contour of the pot and it becomes flat. So anytime you color something in line to line, if you don't show that highlight, uh, it's gonna be flat. And it's really hard to fix that. Okay, so we've done our first step now. So the next step is to add the color now to that little pot. So I'm going to put some color onto my palette. This is number 993, the yellow, bright yellow, and then the red. So this is 885 red. So I'm gonna add these two colors. And I'm gonna go over it first with the yellow. And, and remember when you're adding color, you're going to add it where it's the darkest. So obviously the darkest is going to be on the bottom down here. If the light is coming straight down, we're gonna have this darker color down here on the bottom. And remember, you're gonna show that contour by showing that highlight. So you wanna keep that highlight going just like that. 
and then add a little bit to uh, to the little handle here, just like that. Remember, see that highlight on the top also? And then let's just come back in here and go just a little bit darker down in here on the bottom. And you know, less is more. I mean, you know, we, we just, we have this urge to just color everything in solid. And I'm telling you, you just gotta get over that because if you color everything in solid, you're not gonna like it as much. Leave those white spaces. It really, really makes a difference. It really does. It's like we learned to do that in elementary school and then we take years and years to get over that. So it is kind of hard. It's hard not to color everything in solid, but I promise you, you're gonna be so much happier with it if you do. Uh, okay, so now I'm adding some of this red in and light. You know, I just, I really watered that down. So I'm, I'm actually brushing this color in now. And again, you wanna keep that color so that you see that highlight in the center. And just take your time. You know, I always try to go a little faster on these videos, but you can take your time with this. And I'm fine if you pause me. You know, when you're watching these videos, pause and go back um, and take your time. It really, really pays off. Okay, so I've got some color in here now and I can go back in and add a little detail later if I want to, but I think this is probably good. Just add a little bit more of this in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now the next step is, of course, to add our flowers that are cascading down. So what I do is I like to do the, the flowers on the bottom first. So at least um, indicate where the bottom is going to be. So where these flowers are falling and where they're gonna land. So let's start and start that out with the little filler flower. So this one right here, and I'm using the red and I'm just gonna ink a couple of these. And I think down here is pretty good. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make one down here on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a couple more up in here. And maybe I'll have one just falling down here too. Add the water to it. So dip your brush, pinch it off, always pinch it off, and then just, just dab. Remember no, no strokes. We're not, uh, we're not actually painting. We're making it look like a painting, but we're not actually painting. Okay, so let's add some foliage to that now. So we're using this little guy, one of my favorites. And we can position this as it's falling down. So I can turn this so that it's coming down uh, sort of like this. And then maybe I can turn this one so that it's coming down like this. And then this one is going to be on the ground. So just like that. And then I'll just dip my brush, pinch it off. And you don't have to do a lot to these. You really don't. Just, just soften them a little bit and just let it go. Let it be done. Okay, so let's go on to the next step and let's add some flowers now coming out of this picture. So I'm gonna use some post-it tape. So I don't wanna stamp over that picture after I've got it all colored. So I'm gonna just cover the mouth of it like this so that I can still see a little bit where that edge is uh, as far as positioning. And the nice thing about post-it tape is you can see through it. So you can see through it and you can see where the, the lip of the picture is. So you kind of know where that ends. So I'm gonna add some of these, these little flowers here. And I'm gonna use my light blue. So this is the number 526. And I'm just gonna color the blooms. And the stem. And I'm just using a green. I have two different greens here. And so you can use you know, whatever greens you want. And like I said, you can use whatever flowers you want. And so now I'm gonna turn this because this is these are kind of falling out of the pot here. So I want them to look like they're just kind of coming down. So just, just position it like that. And then let's do a couple more here. So I'm adding that green back in here. So two colors, so blue on the, on the blooms and then green on the stem. And then I'm just gonna stamp this in here, just like this. So I've got some down on the bottom as well. And let's go to the, this is the one going the other direction. So let's just do this one, same color. 
And this is just so fun to do because you just, just pick up what you have and just stamp it in here. You know, just make sure they're kind of cascading down. So they're kind of, you know, falling down. Just like that. And let's go back to these now and add water to them. And remember, you just, you really just want to get the blooms. Um, we're going to add a little water to the, <clears throat> to the foliage, but mostly uh, just the blooms. And let's just dab a little bit in here. You can always go back and add more water in too. You know, if you like that really soft look, you can go back in and add more. Okay, so let's go on from here and let's add something bold. This is a really uh, beautiful little, little um, long stem flower. I love this little guy. And I'm gonna use some dark color now and a real, really darker green, a much darker green. So this is actually number 177 because I'm gonna kind of stamp this over some of this that I've, um, that I've stamped in here. So I'm gonna kind of come over this one like this and then let's ink it again. And you know these turn out different every time. So I could do this project 100 times and every time it would be different. So that's also kind of cool. And remember, you know, when you're when you're using uh, markers and stamps, you can just ink the parts that you want. So you could do something that just has, you know, one little one little bloom. And let's just put a few more in there. So let's add some water now to these. And these little long stems, we for sure don't want any water on the stems of these, just the blooms. Try to keep this in the screen. Okay, so let's see, what else should we put in here? How about this little yellow one? Love this guy. This also is from that flower set. So I'm using yellow now. And green on the stem. And we can bring this one down. And maybe stamp it down in around like this. Um, just so fun. And then we'll go back over it. Go back over these with some water. Just dab. Oops, I got that stem kind of over that bloom, but that's okay. And I think we really, you know, there's not a lot more we have to do to this. Maybe I'll just add a little of this, uh, just to add a little more red. This is a, a single bloom, long stem. And maybe I'll just add a few of these in here. So two colors on that, this is the red. And let's see, maybe I'll just add a little one coming down like that. And then just, just touch the bloom. You know, if you, if you feel like these are, are a little too light, just grab some of this red off of your palette and just add it to the bloom. You can totally do that. And this little bloom that I kind of stamped over, I can kind of extend that over a little bit just to show it a little bit more. And actually maybe I'll just, I'll just add another little one in here, just like that. Now this is purely optional. Uh, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but I like to add a little background in here once in a while. I think it kind of adds another dimension to it. So I would uh, definitely do that with a blue. This is a warm blue, so this is that number 526 again. And I would just really water this down and just add a little color back in here. I think it just kind of pops everything out and like I said, just adds another dimension to your little composition. And you know, we want this to look like a watercolor, so anytime we can do that, I say we do it. And just a little bit here and there. You know, don't overthink these things. I, I think I say that in every single video that I do. Don't overthink it. You know, the whole concept of these is that they're done in like five or 10 minutes, like literally five or 10 minutes. Stamp it, 
and be done with it. Don't overthink it. And honestly, somebody who's gonna get this in the mail or get this for a birthday or just a thinking of you, it's gonna mean so much to them. They're not gonna care if one little thing isn't quite perfect. Okay, so let's add, uh, just add a little detail now to this little picture. And I'll just make a little stripe on here. Stripes are my favorite little embellishment. I just love making these. I think they just they think it adds so much. And this is when you can come back in here and say, oh, maybe I want a little more color in here. Uh, you can add a little bit more. Uh, we can also take the fine tip now. Uh, this, this is the dark blue. This is the dark blue that we use. And just add a little um, color back behind here just to show the inside of this little picture. Not all the way across, just a little bit. And then a few little um, areas, see where this handle is. You can add a little color in here and you can see that really kind of pops things out a little bit. Super fun. You can add some detail now into the blooms. You know, if you wanna add a little center here and there or maybe some little um, dots. Those are also fun to do. So try some different things. Don't be scared. Uh, don't be scared to try different things. And then always, Sign and date, that's a must, because every time you do these, they're gonna be different and beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all again next week.